1.7109. Anybody's welcome to <laughs> confirm that. But of course, this is where a little knowledge is important. You have to manually put a minus 1.7109 because it's, uh, that's what it pictures to the minus side of the table, negative side of the table. Any questions about how to complete step number three and why we don't chop the alpha in half? Step number four is done exactly the same way as the step number four before. Namely, you take this number and locate which region. Now, once you set up step number three, step number four is easy. Where is minus 1.75? Minus 1.75 is even more negative than minus 1.71, which means we're definitely not, we just made it, but we're in the reject region. So the answer is to reject a zero. And if you leave it right there, you lose three or four or five points. What else do you have to say? Well, again, you don't have the book in front of you, most of you, so I have to read the question. The question was, does the machinery need adjustment? Does the production process need adjustment? Something like that. Yes, David. The answer is yes. Since we rejected a, let's follow it through, we just rejected a zero. What does that mean? The average has now been proven to be lower than 2.8. This machinery is pr producing something a little bit too small. So the only way to fix it is by adjusting. Yes, needs adjustment. And that's literally half. That's literally half. Half your, half your fourth test. I just explained to you why. Again, you, when you make, when you have one of these directional tests. And by the way, how do you know it's a directional test? They got to be a direction throughout the whole problem. At least, at most, more than, less than, greater than, exceeds. All kinds of words that indicate that there's a direction in the problem. If you don't, it doesn't have any of those words, then it's a non-directional test. But once you have the direction, the question is, which side do you put it on? And then again, there's a couple of rules to remember that the A0 represents the status quo. Remember, that's an important thing. The A0, no problem here. And the H1 is where we have a problem. That's a very important hint. And secondly, how do you know which side to put the rejection region on, the left side or the right side? And the, 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 the deeper reason is that if you look at the X bar, if the X bar is much lower than the number, that represents a bad thing. So you put it on the left side. Um, like here, if the X bar is much lower than the number, it's a bad thing. But that's a complicated way to do it. The simple way to do it is you to ask yourself, this, the direction of the symbol. If this symbol is pointing to the left, you know, the, the, the point is pointing to the left, then it's on the left side. If some other kind of example where you may have a greater than symbol is pointing to the right, then the rejection region is on the right side. So that's the actual the mechanical rule is very simple, but I want you to understand why that rule works.